here we go with yet another game, and it is a very good one between Franchester United and the Muffin Men. Franchester United, half point favorites. Very, very tight game. Um, they're two and three though, but of course they might they might have a chance to make up one of those losses, TBD, if they need to. Muffin Men are three and two. They're in fourth place right now, but a a win I think would just keep them in fourth. And a loss, I believe, would drop them to sixth because uh, Roldale and Franchester United have better. Uh, um, 8.2 points per game, 7.6, very tight. Franchester United is dead last in double percentage. So that could be if they if they pick wiser, maybe maybe they're due for even more points. Um, but, you know, we all know Leaf runs the show and doubles what he wants. So it's all about what he's doing. Um, and the Muffin Men have not gotten a question right yet on the MLB, which is interesting. Um, How many have we been asked? Four. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of makes sense. I had to check yeah. seven zero before I said that. Um, okay, so two wins last week, both with ten points against Roldale and Chop House. So those two big wins against good teams. So I'm pretty happy with the way this game turned out. In last minutes to notice, we have some interesting niches. <laughs> These walls. Okay, first category: NBA contracts. I want to double this. Oh, no know NBA. Uh, is Leaf in here? He knows NBA. Leaf no, is in yeah. Uh, I, I've I've Not doubled yet. the last two times for NBA questions, and I've gotten both of them wrong. Just for for a heads up. Okay. No one's doubling. Franchise United, you're going first. The way this is going to work is you're going to see the top five biggest contracts for an NBA team, and you have to name the. Okay, Frank Justin United, this is for you first. Here you go. Name the missing player from this team's list of largest contracts in total value. I'm using Jake Footer's friend Spot Track for this. Oh, this is it. Uh, okay, so this is. The... Actually, I don't want to say anything else because I, I don't want to give any hints to the other team. Leave. Greg I and I have nothing, think... so just if you think you know it, go for it. Phone a friend? No. Um... All right, I have an answer. Uh... OG Ananobi, final answer. Okay, that is correct, OG Ananobi. Let's go. I sent this game for Fletcher to, or this question for Fletcher to review. I said the question first, then I sent the game. And he said, that's a good question. And then he said, OG Ananobi is from Britain. I said, thanks, Fletcher. It was an interesting conversation. Is okay. Kyle Lowry still on the That's a Raptors? very good question. I really like this format. Uh, no, I don't think Kyle Lowry. Yeah. No, isn't he on the Heat? He's on the Heat. Yeah. Kyle Lowry's on the heat, yeah. Okay, um, for the Muffin Men, similar thing. Name the missing player from this team's list of largest contracts. In <sighs> uh, okay, well, I obviously know the team. Oh, I do know the team, yes. So we're looking for a small forward. How do you know it's a small four? You don't know that. Because he's like the one missing. I mean, I mean probably. Pro I mean, in that position, or around that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be any help here. Oh. Right, this is you. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh. Sorry. Leaf knows it. I got nothing. I know I'm going to know it right after he says it. It's still playing Jimmy Butler. No answer. No answer. Okay. I got to take nothing. Chance to steal for Frank Chester United. Uh, Malik Beasley, final answer. I don't, know I don't even know who that is. So. He was the one that, is, uh, but... that uh, had an affair with uh, Larsa Pippen. Yeah. See, this is why we shouldn't have submitted sports niches because we were <laughs> bound to get a, a sports category we don't know. 
yeah. <laughs> exactly what I, I said, and you said it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, I mean, but your niche is what got blocked and me having to fill three in basically every sport under the sun was covered. So, yeah. Yeah, that was a bad yeah. strategy. You get yeah, more soccer gonna, questions? For, there, Matt, there better be a soccer question in here somewhere. Well, I, I hope not. All right. Um, our next category is going to be our first niche of the night. And it is going to be Disney World. No. Muff, you want to double Disney World? No. Okay. No shot. Here is your question, Frank Justino. What country is missing from the World Showcase? So I bought out the names of all of them, but it's just the one that's covered in green that I need you to name. I just, I didn't want to give you all the names and you could just, you know. I've given you the American Adventure for reference of what direction is which. That's so hard, I think. I don't even understand the question right now. Well, hey, no, there, it's the not United Kingdom. I know, I know. United Kingdom final. Oh, I see it now. Answer is. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, well, okay. All right. So just. Yeah, I don't know why I like. I don't know why, like, I don't know why like Argentina Egypt. came to mind. What like, what about, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to think of ones that would be there. Argentina, Brazil. Do you see like Brazil, Japan, Ar- one? Australia, uh, Japan, Italy, US. Italy, France. Let's go. Let's go Italy. I like Italy. All right. Why not? All right, all right sure. Yeah, answer. they were all guessing. So. Italy final answer. This yeah. is Morocco. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, all right. Okay. This one is the UK, and then I think this one is Italy. Um, but yeah. Oh, uh, we were just turned around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I gave the American Adventures over. All right. Next question is for. Is China the one to the the right of the green one? Yeah. I'm okay. oh, sorry, no, Japan is. China is more, is like next to Mexico or next to Norway, actually. It goes Mexico, Norway, China. You guys don't want to watch me do this, even though I could, but that's pointless. Okay. Um, Muffin Man, for you to take the lead, what attraction is missing below? So just that kind of pale block off space. I say we pass and, and wait, uh, wait, hold on. Well, let's just think for a uh, second. Attraction, let me clarify attraction could be a ride or a show, just to be clear. Oh wait! Know. Oh oh wait! Oh, no. I mean, if you got I was thinking of like that splash. I was thinking Splash Mountain, but that'd be way too obvious. obvious. Yeah, I saw the Frontier Trading Post, so I'd like it because there's that ride nearby. It. Um, I love Swiss Family Treehouse. That that's the shit. Yeah, good call. I, I, no idea. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I uh, this looks like, um, I don't know, <laughs> Mickey's guess. Playhouse. Yeah, Mickey Mouse Playhouse. Final answer, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Do you know it? I have two ideas, but I think you guys would know better than me. Greg, I can't hear you, Frankie. My athlete lift your mic up or something, Frank. Greg. Yeah, their mic is not working. <laughs> can you hear us? Now I can. Yeah. yeah, now we can. I think it's Jungle Cruise. Do you have a... Yeah, I'd go with it. I was going to say it's that bear show. Jungle but Cruise I... final? Okay. Nice. Was it, is it, it's not Pirates. Oh. Country Bear oh, Jam 3. Jungle Cruise Rip. is down more than to the left, and then Flash Mountain is up and to the left. Um, I'll take it. I knew it was a bear show, but I didn't know what the name of it was. And what you just made me realize that I should be asking for Universal if I can do this with Disney. Um, okay, next category is another niche. 2010 to present NFL. Sandusky, do you want to? Okay. Do you want to double? No. No, there it is. Okay. So the way this is going to work is that you're going to see the leader four different stats for a team. I'm not going to say the team. In a given year, I'm not going to say the year. And based on the other leaders, you have to name the ones I'm losing. It'll be very wait, quick. wait, I'm, I, I couldn't hear you, Matt. Can you repeat yourself? Yep. Yeah. So you're going to see the leaders in four statistical categories for a given team in a given year. You're not okay. going to give in the team or the year, but based on the other three team leaders, you'll you'll guess the, the fourth one. Okay. Um, so Sounds good. Frank Chester United, this is for you. What player is missing from this team's leaders in a 2020 season? The leading rusher is the one you need. 
The leading receiver was Greg Olson. The sack leader was Charles Johnson, and the tackles leader was Luke Keekley. So we need the leading rusher. Frank looks like he wants to die. Okay, guys, <laughs> I I don't know much about uh about football, but wasn't Greg Olson on the Panthers? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good. I think question. he was. Do you guys know any any like rusher on the on the no, I don't. Panthers? Let me let me tell you something, Leaf. What state are the Panthers in? <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is why we submitted it. <laughs> All right. Um, didn't Cam Newton rush a lot, but he's, he's still, even if he rushed a lot for a quarterback, I don't think it would be him. Just they, oh, should, we do? Do, should we call phone a friend? friend? Yeah. I can call Ben. All right. Do it. The go to phone a friend from Frank Josh United. So. Hey, uh, the category is 2010, the present NFL. And okay. essentially, you have to just find it, it's a team, and they give you the leaders for a season in the 2010s, and you have to pick the missing leader. So we a know. Team for the leader. Here, so they gave the, the leading rusher, receiver, sack leader, and tackles leader for the team and one of them's missing and you have to Leave, can you just show him on FaceTime? It'll be so much yes. easier for him. I promise. Okay. So the team's leading receiver was Greg Olson. The team's sack leader is Charles Johnson. The tackles leader was Luke, uh, is that Coochley? Keekly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, and leading rusher. So who, who would be the leading? 20 rusher? seconds, Leaf. 20 seconds. Uh, leading rusher. 15 seconds, Leaf. Tell him. There's Leave. Tell yeah, me I have ten seconds, um, please. You have ten seconds. Literally, uh, just name a good rusher. Jonathan Stewart. Jonathan Stewart. Two. One. All right, Jonathan Stewart. Five minutes. All right, that's your yeah. final answer. That is correct. No way. <laughs> nice job. No way. It's a daily show. <laughs> uh, I can't fucking say Luke Keekley and they got that fucking one right. He, that guy, he milks the clock every time and says the right answer every time with like two seconds left with no exceptions. Mars right. Miller, would you have gotten that? Yeah. Uh, I, would, I would have said Mike Tolbert. I was between that, those two. I was leaning towards Tolbert, actually. <gasps> I'm just right, happy I knew it was the Panthers. To get on the board. Frazier's uh, when he said Cam Newton, though, I was like thrown off. Oh, I thought it ago. could be Cam Newton. Too. I was like, <laughs> I didn't even think about that one. I was like, holy yeah, shit, it could that, be He Cam was the Newton. first one that came to my mind. Yeah. yeah. I didn't consider that could have been an answer until he said it, yeah. Um, okay. Love Meta, get on the board. Here's yours. We're going to get this wrong. No, we got this. Morris leading rusher. I need the leading receiver. The sack leader was Brian Arakpo, and the interceptor <laughs> was D'Angelo Hall. Oh, I, I wish I we could call somebody for our own niche. I think um, I have it, though. Um. Okay. Let's let's. Just, yeah, we just don't want to give them anything. I'm assuming we all know. So. I'm assuming we all know the team. Doesn't matter. I, I already Wait, know the. Let, yeah. Wait. Let me let me let me think a little bit to make sure I'm thinking yeah. the right guy. Apparently, Leaf knows the answer. I doubt that yeah, very they, much. They got no way. Zero one. All right. Hmm. You know the years, so we. I, I think we could say the year, and that wouldn't really help them. I don't even know the year it could be. I have a. I'm thinking of a. Say initials. Say the initials. Say the initials. Say the initials. PG. Oh yeah. Maybe, but or it's a or it's a tight end. What do you? I like that one. Yeah, we got to go with it. Go there, Sierra. We suck. Pierre Garcon, final answer. Thank you, Mars. Let's go. Leaf, did you actually know that? No. <laughs> There's no way he knew that. All right. So you're on the board. Only down Thank two. Thank fuck. Early, oh, yeah. early doors. Our next category is state license plates. Ooh, Ooh I like this. Ooh. I want to double here. I, 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 I feel, think we should double. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I feel like we could do it, but I feel like no, they would also. Niche of ours. Oh, it's on our niche? We should double. I say double because I think I'm good at this. Yeah, me too. Sure. I actually, uh, do you guys want to double too? No, absolutely no. not. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Come on. Unless it's a big ass. I don't hate your thinking. Okay. I don't hate your thinking, Noah. But it could be really niche plates. It could be like not the state's most common plates. I know, but what else are we gonna double? Whatever it's like state related, and you've always been wrong. I feel like I've never doubled doubled the NBA. We should have doubled the NBA. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. I'm doubling. I'm doubling. doubling. All right. Yep. I got the double. It's on the score sheet. I think this is gonna be kind of easy. I I do too, but like I don't. I don't know if we should risk it. Okay. Well, no. I'm doubling. United. (laughs) Here is yours. This is for two points. Give you a five to one lead. Here it is. What state is this license plate? This is Rhode Island. Yeah. Rhode Island final. Mother. Fucker. Was Rhode Let's Island. go! I wouldn't have gotten that. I was there. No, there I, was there. Was not, I, I did not expect I wouldn't have gotten that one either. Did not see that coming. Um, but I guess good double. Yeah, 5 1. Um, well, I guess it's a long way. Yes. Okay, Muffin Man, here's yours. What state uses this license plate? Uh, I wish it said. Um, the land of lovers, or whatever Virginia is. Um, yeah, I don't know. A cliff. Um, hmm. Hey, I want their microphone up to their mouths. Pennsylvania? <laughs> no, no, it's definitely not Pennsylvania. No, it's going to be like Utah or Wyoming or oh, Montana. Utah. I was thinking, I don't hate Montana. I was thinking maybe one of the Dakotas. I didn't see it in Yellowstone. I didn't see that one in Yellowstone, though. Live yeah, I like free, Wyoming more than. I actually, yeah, live, Wyoming could be. I like Wyoming. Live free or die. I actually think I, I think that's Wyoming. I think we should just go with that. I'm trying to see what's going on in the background there. Just a cliff. It's just a cliff, I think. I don't oh, hate like Wyoming. what in South Dakota. Oh, no, that'd be Mount Rushmore. Uh, Live free. I feel like I've heard of this state slogan. I know. I think Wyoming's a good answer. Wyoming. Wyoming. All right, yeah, Wyoming. I think Wyoming. Wyoming. Any direction, Steel? Is this, is this New Hampshire final? Moment? Yeah, New Hampshire. Yeah. Okay. No! That's not just a cliff. That's a granite cliff for the granite state. The man of the rock. <laughs> the man of the mountain. <laughs> All right. So that makes it six to one. Six points in four categories is pretty impressive. But Thank goodness we didn't double. A lot of time. Yeah. A lot of time left. And a double somewhere in the mix. Um, next category is another niche. It's going to be 2010 to present golf. Frank Chester United have doubled. And they use their phone a friend. So they're out of their lifeline, so they've just got to answer this one all on their own um, for one point. Here's your question. In the 2010s, three different Northern Irishmen won majors. Name two of the three. Okay. Ricky Fowler. And uh, <laughs> I don't know anything. Rory McIlroy is Irish, not Northern Irish, right? I don't know. Um, Rory McIlroy. Uh, do you know any other Northern Irish made like people? People? I don't know anyone from Northern Ireland, like just in general. I can't keep myself composed. The Cranberries band is from Ireland. Northern oh, I didn't Ireland. know that. Really? <laughs> um, what'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> uh, let's do, let's do Rory McIlroy and uh, I know Ricky Fowler's from the U.S. But Bono? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rory McIlroy and Ricky Fowler, final answer. Okay. <laughs> Matt, okay. you, Matt, you were losing it when he said. Okay. All, All right, hey, hey, a hundred percent. Obviously, yeah. obviously, Rory, Rory. Gra- Graham McDowell. I don't. Know. What about Luke Lowry, Dow- Northern Dow- Ireland? No, he's just Irish. Okay. Rory yeah. or Padraig? Padraig Harrington. I think he's yeah. Irish. I don't know another Northern Irish. It's, like, it's Graham McDowell for sure, Northern Irish. I don't Northern know. Ireland. No, I don't know. Did he win no, a I think major? He's just English. I think he's just English. All right, Rory Motherfucker. and no, – there's another Shane one. Shane Lowry, I don't know. All right, Rory yeah, and he, Lowry. not, but we don't have another. Graham McDowell is one of them. Oh, what the fuck? When, oh. What major did he win? Dude, he won one at like 08 or something. Yeah, no, he he did win one, but I didn't think he – 2010 golf, he won it in 2010. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess not 08. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't know he was Northern Irish. So tough. Nor did I. I don't think Shane Lowry won a major, but he's – but he's Irish. God damn it. Um, All right. So here's one to claw one back and make it a four-point game. Okay. My PowerPoint's been laggy. It's going to appear. There it is. Okay. In the 2010s, three – let me explain this. Three continental Europeans, so not from the British Isles, from countries other than Spain, won majors. Name two of the three. 
Martin Keimer, right? Yep. Um, um, yes. And then a Swede. Oh, oh um, Henrik Stenson. Henrik Stenson. Wait, no, that's wait, not wait, continental, just, though. That's that not continental. Wait, that's just wait. wait. Alien. Yes. Oh, yes. Molinari. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did, right, wait, hold on. Did, did Keimer? Did Did Keimer win? in – I think he did win in the early two thousand. Let's, keep, let's keep, uh, keep thinking just in case. We yeah. Let's not say obviously. anything else though. Let's not say anything else though. Unless there's a good one. We um, have two. We have two. We have two. We have one majors. A Frenchman. No. No. I can't think of anyone Fucking else. Grammy Dowell. <laughs> No Poland, no Ukraine, no Russia, or no Russia. Frenchman. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. just go yeah, there. Let's go with that. Martin, yeah, Martin yeah. Timer and um, Frank Molinari. Right. Molinari. Final answer. And I don't know on. why you guys said Henrik Sensen, who was the other answer, and just decided that Sweden wasn't in Europe. Well, you said you continental. said continental. You said continental. How is Sweden not on the continent of Europe? Well, 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 then uh, why did you say meant, like, continental Europeans? Why yeah, did you say European? Continental when is I said like, continental, I, I – when I, Britain was, is an island. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would say continent. Like Britain, 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 Britain Isle. No, we understand – yeah, yeah. No, I understand yeah, what you're we, saying now, but yeah. – <laughs> Whatever. I was saying they were, like, broken off by the water. Like, I don't know. Point you down the other one. All right. Yeah, tell me about it. One game, but you have your double. Um. Okay, next category is – Eastern Hemisphere cuisine. Would you like to double Jesus. here, my friend? No, no. Let's just, let's just wait. Man, yeah, where do you come up with these? Um, I know. To the quals question. Rice. This is not a quals question. Don't don't smear my name like that. Okay. Um, Franchise United. This is for you. Name this Thai curry known for its mild taste and for frequently containing ingredients not common to Thai dishes, such as potatoes, avocado, and cinnamon. Caesar salad. This is Caesar salad. Guys, I have no idea. Just one of you guys pick something. Oh, we can't hear you, by the way. No, we don't. We don't know. Yellow curry. Yeah, just go with it. Go with it. And don't no, no, don't say anything else. We don't want to help you. Really you know. So I just need to give myself some time. <laughs> How's the weather? I've definitely eaten this before. Let's do yellow curry final. Okay. Can't still here. No idea. Yeah, Let's go with it. I don't know. Goulash, final answer. This is Masaman curry. I yeah. That's yeah, for sure. that. I had that for dinner last night. Um. Okay. I've also had that before. Didn't I've know. Definitely. Got it's before. a very popular Thai dish. Like it's not like random at all. Okay. For the muffin man. Steph's lesser known brother. <laughs> dish also found in Greece that combines layers of minced meat with eggplant or potato topped with a bechamel sauce and baked. I don't know where my image went. Okay, wait, let me stop the share. So I want to be fair to you guys if you didn't get the image. So let's just fix that. Is it, are you guys thinking? Uh, yeah, the image would be helpful. There Galloped is. potatoes. It is, it is on the way. Sounds like scalloped potatoes. But that sounds too easy. Frank, you need to put some sheets on your bed. <laughs> yeah, you no. Have, you have sheets. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> um, I this meal also found in Greece. <laughs> Um, Leaf knows it. Oak Walls knows it. Good for him. Lasagna. No. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't think we got anything, so let's just get it. 
All right, we'll go with the lasagna. Mars, you have a guess or no? Lasagna, fine. Right, let's, go. let's just get over to them. No, I didn't want to guess. What? Do you know if it's a steal? No, so I, just said, I didn't know the answer. He, he thought I did, but I was just laughing about my license plate book. <laughs> you guys just go with something. Swarma final. <laughs> That is not shawarma. <laughs> this is another very popular dish. This is moussaka. No, it's not, Matt. <laughs> it's not my Sorry, fault. Matt. I don't eat Middle Eastern food very often. I know. This is like every Greek restaurant you're going to find. Okay. Um, actually, when someone was reviewing the game, they were like, those are pretty tough, but also I don't think either of these teams get out to eat too much. What does that mean? <laughs> like to, to foreign restaurants, let's put it. Um, okay. We're cultured. I'm sure yeah, we are. Away five times this week. You saw the number of hypnotists. Okay. Um, <laughs> last name. <news. laughs> U.S. Uh, fuck. All right. Uh, we're not doubling. Thank you. Here's the question. Um, still a four-point game. Yeah, that was good. That was good now. Here you go, Frank Justin United. What's the largest state by population have one senator from each ma- major party? At the moment, obviously. Pennsylvania final. It is Pennsylvania. Holy shit. I thought, I thought Ohio would be the trick there because they're like one space apart, but it is Pennsylvania. So it's a five-point game, but we have, I think, eight points remaining. So there's plenty of um, time to go. Okay, Muffin Man, for you. What's the smallest state by population have one senator from each? This is objectively harder. Um, we just use our phone, a friend. Who are we gonna call? I'll yeah, call my brother. brother. Call my brother. All right. Wait. Let's. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wait till the end. I mean. Dude, there's so many small. There's so many small states. I don't think any. But by population. No, I know, but they're like. Like I don't think Hawaii ever would have gone red. And I I don't. We have like I have a guess, but there's no reason to it. Just call your brother. Okay. Well, you're gonna use our phone in front of that. Like Idaho, I mean no. So let's call this dude up. Hey, hey, Phil. Are you there? Yep. We're down bad. We need this. Okay. All right. What is the smallest state by population to have one senator from each major party? Um, Montana. Montana. Um, you got a couple seconds. It's it's John Tester, is the Democrat. Okay. I think it's Montana. Um, am I uh, am I allowed to look it up? No, <laughs> no. All right. Thanks. Bye. I just, hey, um. But Montana, I, final answer. It is Montana. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Phil. That's huge. I'm going to text him real quick. Yeah. How did, did he like work on Capitol Hill or something? I mean, that was crazy. He's, he's a lawyer. He's big into politics. I forgot. I forgot we could have called PJ, too. Yeah, I don't know. All right. So it's back to a four point game coming down the stretch. And Muffin Men have their double. Qualls. Somehow knew it too, so good for him. Um, okay. Next category is our – no, it's not. Never mind. Um, Olympics in review. So we're, we're looking at the Olympics that just happened. Oh, um, no. no. No, no. Okay. You're gonna... uh, you should boycott this category. Like, I'm this boycotting the Olympics. Curling. Frank, the Olympics have been over for like four days. Yeah, you should just not answer the question if you're boycotting. Agreed. All right. Frank, just, you had, here's your question. The only podium sweep of the whole Olympics from a single country came in the two men bobsleigh, where what country won all three medals? I'm gonna think Norway because they're like really good at the Winter Olympics. Let's go with it. 
Norway final. Okay. Big steel chance here. Yeah. Okay. I've I've read about these guys. Finland, really? Yeah. No, I, wait. I don't know. I don't think. No. I. Like, all right. So like England, it's good at like United Kingdom's good at Bob Japan. Slice. It. I don't Jamaica. Think so. Oh, it's not no. Jamaican. Oh wait, two man bobsled. Yeah. Oh, Jared. Uh, Finland. Three. Russia. I mean, it could be. It could be Russia. Yeah. Let's do China. No. China. No, it's not China. This would be bobsled powerhouse Germany. Uh, uh, I was thinking the two man luge where they lay on top of each other. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, uh, so no fuck. point here. But if you get this one, it'll be big to cut to three with your double at some point. Here's your question. What country won their first ever gold medal in men's ice hockey? Come on, Finland. Finland. Yeah. Finland, Finland. Are, are you sure? Finland. Yeah. Finland. Yeah. Finland. Final answer. Final, Final answer. Final answer. That was way easy. I just no, I just wanted you to say it. This you bet on them. I yeah. I bet on them. Yeah. You bet on them. I'm trying to get you to before to before you, before the tournament started, I bet on Finland, and okay. I like woke up one morning with like a lot more. Money I would like to shame account, the commissioners and, for. Uh, Supporting the Olympics, shame. <laughs> I, yeah, I woke like up with like a lot they, more money uh, in my DraftKings account. I was like, really, pl- I was like, oh, Finland must have won the gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we block hockey, and then they still ended up you, getting you a block hockey? hockey Russia. Russia. This is Olympics. This is totally different. Yeah. But it's yeah. still hockey. Well, that's like if I no a grow up leaf. Okay, Graham um, McDowell. And that's fine. former name. So this is going to be. You are going to get the. F- like some of some former nicknames of a current MLB team, and you have to name the current MLB team. Um, so like uh, the old name of the team. Yeah, like like you're gonna get multiple old names from a team. Obviously, they're old, old. Um, and you have to like, like where like, they moved to, so like which team, like they moved to. Like, there's no cities team, attached. Not right? the place. It's just about their former nicknames. Like are cities come, attached? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it'd be like, it'd so be let's, like just, let's just like see it, Mars. Let's Chicago. see theirs. Let's just see theirs. Let's just see theirs. Well, do we well, wait, see, I mean, we after double? we see theirs, it's not yeah. like we can then double. Yeah, we, we can't double after that. Oh, you're thinking of doubling it beforehand, you're saying. Okay, Matt, so I you're gotcha. saying it's kind of like how the the Chicago Bears used to be the Chicago Cardinals. So you would just, like be, that. You'd just be Cardinals. Yeah, it'd be Cardinals. Okay. Matt, what's um, is the last category is obviously non sports, right? Yeah. I think we should double it. I think we don't know what, I think we just don't know what the last one will be. I agree. This game has been really hard too, so maybe this yeah, will be easy. One. Yeah. So, all right, we'll, we should. Oh, we'll double. Yeah. Let's double. Yeah, I think we should. We'll, and then we're not. I'm, I'm not too worried about them stealing it. We wait, have Kyle, they, Kyle, they Kyle Qualls out here saying he gets 20 points every game I make, and the Muffin saying it's too hard. So, so I mean, if we <laughs> if we don't get this, we're gonna we lose. Basically. You yeah. You have to get one point from this category minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Frank Chester United, this is for you. Some quick mental math tells me that did, if, we did end up doubling, right? You don't need to get this to win. You did, did. End up doubling. yeah. Okay. Um, if you get this, the game's not over, but you can't lose in regulation. Here's your question, Frank Chester. The Grays, Superbas, and Robins were all former nicknames for what NL team? Define NL. National. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my 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 th- my train of thought is just let's pick a city that uh yeah let's pick a city. Um, <laughs> yeah, they gotta give the nickname. They gotta let's give the pick one that nickname. begins with R that probably had some alliteration. They it, they could have moved around a bit, but I bet the Robins were probably in the same spot. So let's pick one a city that I begins just with say, R. I don't, I, to anyone Rochester. Because I don't know what a, who's a national league team. Uh, is there Cincinnati, a team in Rochester? Reds. That begins with O. The Reds. Cincinnati Reds. I like that. Do you know anything, Leaf? Can we just go with that? No, I, I think we should go with a city that begins with O. But, R? But I don't know if there is a team. Right uh, five. Cincinnati Reds, final yeah. answer. Not, not okay, right. Reds, final answer. <laughs> Incorrect. Big chance to steal here. Dude, I feel like I recognize the Grays. Yeah. I'm the Matt. The Matt. What? Really? Matt? I don't know. First thing that popped in my head. I was thinking like the Mariners for whatever reason. No, they used to be the um the Mariners. No, okay, it doesn't matter. Wait. 
Um, I was thinking like it could be the Diamondbacks, maybe, but I don't think they're that old. Rockies. This has to be an old team. I I think we go with the Mets. Final answer. That's, That's fine. Uh, right city at this time, not anymore. This is the Dodgers. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Back in Brooklyn? Yep. They also were like the bridegrooms at one point. They had a lot of names. Okay, you have to get this to win. That's that's the bottom line for the Muffin Men. Here's your question for two points. The Bean Eaters, Dubs, and Bees were all former nicknames for what NL team? Bean. Oh, I feel like I recognize the Bean Eaters. Bean Eaters. Bean Eaters, coffee. Is this an order of oldest to newest? Yeah. It's not an exclusive list, though, obviously. I'm trying to uh, think back to, like, the Jackie Robinson movie. They played a team called the Bees, or if that was way before that. Oh, fuck. Um, Honestly, I think this is – could be, like, the Phillies or the Pirates – I like the pi- no, the pirates were the pirates were then they were already okay. there then. And like the Marlins. I, 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 almost, um, I almost want to say the Reds. No, the no, Reds were no, just the, the Reds. Reds. The Reds have been the Reds, Reds forever. Reds. They were the Reds. Um, Brewers. Have they been along that long? No, no, they no they're new. No, they're new. Let's um, go Mariners. Okay. Mariners, final oh, answer. They're probably in the area. Uh, not, um, not, not the Mariners. Chance, Franchise United, you won the game, but this is a chance to steal two. Fuck, games. man. I, um, I have an idea, but I think you guys might know better. I don't know anything. Yeah, used, do it. You, you, we don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was thinking up, Baltimore because it, it, there's some alliteration, but I don't I know. Do Usually they're pretty. The <laughs> Orioles, final answer. Loves alliteration. Uh, two AL guesses on this NL team, but <laughs> this would be the Atlanta Braves. Oh. Could have, could have called shop, bring uh, back the bean eaters. Bring back the bean eaters because they were from Boston, the Boston Braves. So there's your connection. Um, okay, so we play the last category because both teams are now 500. So obviously, it, it, the stats matter a lot with tiebreakers and such. Movie franchise fails. I'm very excited about this category. So this is about movies that were supposed to start franchises, but they were like so bad that they flopped that they canceled all the sequels. Um, Frank Josh United, here is yours first. In 2017, Universal's planned Dark Universe franchise based on classic horror icons was put on hold when this reboot starring Tom Cruise bombed at the box office. I can't hear you, Frank. It's not that. The Mummy? It's not. Because the Mummy already... No, it's oh, The yeah, Mummy. Okay. It's The Mummy. Yeah, The Mummy. Leaf, do you have a better answer? No. No, it's The Mummy. Final answer. Yeah, yeah it is. It's The Mummy. I can't believe anyone remembers that movie. Okay, Love and Men. This 2010 action fantasy film starring Nicolas Cage and Jay Baruchel, named after a scene in Disney's Fantasia, set up a sequel in its post credit scene, but it never materialized. <clears throat> uh, oh, I think I know it. I think it's uh, Paranorman. Like the Dancing Bucket? <laughs> no, it's Paranorman. <laughs> I'm still pissed um... about that. I actually you, you won that game. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I mean, Nicholas Cage. Nicky. I don't know who Jay Baruchel is. Um, I was yeah, thinking I um, Nicholas Cage. Oh, movies. Um, the National Treasure, but that had a sequel, obviously. No. Oh yeah. The only thing that pop- no, it's the only thing that's popped in my head is <laughs> Nicholas Cage movie. Like, uh. <sighs> Journey to the center of the earth. No. Um, I'm not even in that. Paranorman, final answer. <laughs> Screw you guys. Chance of steal. Uh, <laughs> no. Wizards of Princess, final answer. The what? Oh. You close, Frank. It's the Sorcerer's Apprentice. You Sor- oh. Fuck you. You're a loser. I actually saw this. Damn. Was- that movie sucked. <laughs> Ass. It's, I'm glad they didn't make a franchise. This it was kind of better. entertaining. This movie was actually much bigger than The Mummy was in terms of like box office. Yeah, yeah. this was, was big when it came out. Yeah, it was big. The, the Wonder Public Song Secrets came from this movie. Um, mm. Yeah, 
So that is going to wrap things up here tonight. I uh, should have updated the score a little more. But eight, yeah, 8-4 to four is our final. Um, Frank, your team just keeps winning despite not knowing much about sports. This must be pretty encouraging. Yeah, we're good. We're actually really good at sports. It was all bait. <laughs> Calvin, upsets me down to 500, I assume. But, Bad. Yeah. Um, but you're still in second place in your division, so you would be. Who's in first place? Team Freeopism is 4-2. They're good. And they could technically. We're above, wait, we're above gone. Sandusky? Yeah, Sandusky's two and four. I didn't even realize they were in our division. Yeah, so Sandusky's are two and four. Chop House is one and four because they're playing right after this. And don't blow uh, it. Don't blow it is, is one and one and four. Or, yeah, because they're also playing right now. Wait, so what is it? The top two teams from each division automatically make it? Yep. And then the next two teams, regardless of division, like wild cards. I was, I was telling. Calvin, this I think yesterday, but for next season oh, we're still recording, so now the YouTube will know this little tidbit as well. Next season, I think we're gonna do like an NBA play-in style thing where like the five and six play, the winner gets the five, and then the loser of that game plays the winner of the seven eight game, and the winner of that gets the six seed. So kind of like get more teams involved because this year it's crazy how many good teams there are. Like a lot of really good teams are gonna miss the playoffs. It's a total chaos right now. Um, um where where are we after this game, Matt? You are three and three, but you, I think, have the best question percentage of any. You're like fourth or fifth. Let's go. So you'd be in the playoffs right now. Yeah. Because yeah. you'd be the first wild card, I think. Plus, well, so we get to redo that game that. Uh... You, you get to redo that game if necessary, yeah. So, like, if you ended up one game out of the playoffs, you would get to play that game to see if you could make it. Correct. Do we have, do we have, like, can I look at the spreadsheet for Hypnotoad's, like, scoring post the first two games? Yeah, it's a lot lower. I'll say that. 